What's up guys, we're back with a box of packs from the mail. But before we do that, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite set from this video. There's a ton of different ones. I can't even remember what they all are, but it's gonna be fun. All right, so we have stacks and stacks. Okay, not stacks and stacks, but we have a few, sta like three stacks. And then we also have a special edition. So we have this Ancient Prophecy Special Edition. I mean, that's pretty cool just by itself. Let's move these over so we can see. It's a little dark. Okay, we have Storm of Ragnarok, Stardust Overdrive, Absolute Power Force, Judgment of Light First Edition, Chicka Lattes, another Storm of Ragnarok, Shining Darkness First Edition, and Unlimited. We have Extreme Victory, Generation Force. These are First Edition, Order of Chaos, all really cool. Storm of Ragnarok, Ju some more Chicka Lattes potential. Galactic Overlord, Shining Darkness, First Edition and Unlimited, three First Editions, that's cool. And finally, well not, okay, it's a pretty big stack, but we have Original Invasion of Chaos. So this is not a reprint from 2017, which is cool. First Edition Rise of Destiny, First Edition Enemy of Justice, Unlimited Force of the Breaker. We have Soul of the Duelist, Cyberdark Impact, Force of the Breaker again. We got Galactic Overlord, Return of the Duelist, Galactic Overlord, Return of the Duelist, Return of the Duelist. <laughs> Absolute power force. So some really cool stuff here. We're going to open it right now. Let's see if we can pull a ghost rare. Ancient fairy dragon. Let's see if we can do it. I'm down. Who's down? I am. Ghost rare ancient fairy dragon. Three packs. Can you imagine? All right. Let's do this. All right. First, our card is red eyes wyvern. That's pretty cool. I like that card. Probably not that valuable, but pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we can get from these three packs, and then we'll get into the other loose packs, which have some pretty awesome potential. A lot of ghost potential in this video, guys. That would be pretty crazy. Let's go with the Scary Moth. Infernity Beast. Imperial Custom. Core Compression. Okay, super rare right off the bat. I like it, I like it. And Genetic Woman. Okay, a Genetic Woman. Well, we got the Core Compression. Very nice. Super rare. Second pack. Super rare in the first. Now we pull Ghost Rare. Calling it now. Ghost Rares unite. Spirit Burner. Unite inside these packs that we're opening right now. Advanced draw. Black Wing, Fane, Steel Chain. Black Wing, Fane, Steel Chain. I like that card. I wish that was a current set so we could open that more because Black Wing, Fane, Steel Chain is an awesome wrap. Um, when did we open uh, this Ancient Prophecy recently? I feel like I just opened this. Sunny Pixie. I can't remember what it was, though, guys. I'm getting old. My memory is fine. It's bad. Sunlight Unicorn. Damage Translation. And Dark Sea Rescue. Oh, we opened a whole booster box. That's right. When the uh, Orca video. Now it's coming back, guys. Let's see what we can do next. How about a Storm of Ragnarok Unlimited? Guys, did you know I've never pulled Odin and Ghost Share? I don't know if you knew that or not. I'm just letting you know. Okay, here we go. Tyrant's Tirade. Let's see what we can do. Shan Squire. We can pull some epic stuff. But will we is the question. Foolish Return. And Kagamusha, the Six Samurai. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, this one could be fun. Stardust Overdrive. So these are loose packs. We're about to find out, did we get scaled or did we get something good? That's the question. Loose packs, very risky. And by the way, I feel like I need to mention this. Opening packs is usually not profitable. For some reason, a lot of people watching me think that I'm making money on all my openings. I'm not sure why. Because I usually post how much I get at the end and it's like, Horrible, but oh, there we go. We've got a Quacky Mirror Beetle, so there we go. Right off the bat, we got a Spider Spider. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Dark Rabbit's actually a decent one, too. That's pretty cool. But uh, this is good. This is a loose pack, super rare. We will take that. Quacky Mirror Beetle. Next up, Absolute Power Force. Let's do this. Whew. Let's do this. Variety comes out. We got the Advanced Force. Swordmaster, Call the Reaper, Skull Conductor, and Reptilian Gardener. He looks like a turtle, not a, not a Reptilian Gardener. Pot of Benevolence. I think that's a short print. Let me pull that out, just in case. He definitely does not look like a, a Gardener. He looks like a dude that's going to just give like just give up whatever he's guarded, you know? I know Gardener might not mean guard, but it sounds a lot like it, you know? So basically it means it, you know? <laughs> Black and the White Wave. Umbral Horror Ghoul. You got a Junk Blader. Xyz Reception. The V Salamander and the Caribou. Okay, the Caribou. Ooh, a Colt Wing. You guys know what to say about Colt Wing. This guy got reprinted. I don't know if it's still worth anything, but we'll pull it out. 
Another chance at the legendary Madolce Chicolates. Can we pull it, guys? Spam Chicolates in the comments if you guys want to see a Chicolates. We need Chicolates. It's been a while. Sees Revenge Shuffle. We got a Fencing Fire Ferret. Blackwing White Wave. We got the Archfiend Emperor. Herald of the Pure Light. I think this one's pretty good. Intercept Tomato. Oh, no Chicolates. I think this one's actually worth a few bucks. If it's still worth what it was when we were first opening, you know, <laughs> what is that called? Judgment of the Light so many times. I was struggling right there. Okay. Storm of Ragnarok. Can Thor take over here? Or do will it be Odin? That is the question. Can we pull the Odin Ghost Rare? I can even take the Ultimate Rare. I wouldn't be mad. Got her damn wrong. The Mimir. Hourglass of Courage. Um, I don't know what that is. Scrap one. And another Kagamusha, the Six Samurai. Always in that spot after the rare. We've got an epic pack up next. The Shining Darkness. You can get some pretty cool stuff in here. We opened up like 12 of these against casual Yugi stuff, I think. And some of them, the cards in there are actually worth a ton now. We got Dragon Laser. We get the Vacuum in. Oh yeah, the Man of the Vacuum. Judex Controller. Infernity Reflector. The Magidog. And Leeching the Light. Okay, all right, nothing too exciting there, but that's fine. Because we got another one. Except this one's unlimited, but still. There is still some good stuff in here. Unlimited, the Shining Darkness. Let's see what we can pull here. The Vacuum in. The Man of the Vacuum. Bombardment of Fairy Archer. Ronin Toten. That's a good common. And the Gen X Searcher. Okay. All right. X Saber Partial. This one got a super rare later in... I forgot. Wait. Turbo Pack. Three, five, or seven. One of them. One of the three. <laughs> okay. Extreme Victory, first edition. We could pull Tour Guide, first edition. I'd take the Ghost Rare Jungle Berserker, not gonna lie, I would take it. Contact with the Aquamere, Elder of the Six Samurai, TGX1, Dual Wield, Resonator Call, and the Scrap Call. All right. I remember the Ghost Rare Jungle Berserker when I first opened a booster box of that was 18 bucks. I think that was first edition price, so that shows you how cheap that was. Generation 4 is first edition. Every time I get these, they have nothing in them. We have pulled the Leviathan Dragon Ulti once. We've probably opened like two, three hundred packs of this now. Oni gave me combo. We got the Magma Cannoneer. Wind up key. A Pokey Draco. Wind up snail. And the Crash Bug Y. Okay, so far, two foils out of loose packs. Not too good. Alright. Here we go. Can we get something else? Armor Ninja 2 Art of Freezing. Aqua Armor Ninja. Ninja, Ninja, Dice Foon. Oh, Shine of the Mist Valley. That is the first Ruxin special of the day. The Sweet Corn. They literally made a card called Sweet Corn. All right. Very nice. Redemption for Storm of Ragnarok. Can they pull something good for Thor? Let's do this. Can we get a Ghost Rare? We got a Bristow the Tailwind, Tyrant's Tirade. Oh, no! Oh, yes! Thor Ultimate Rare! <laughs> oh my goodness. The Ruxin. I felt myself about to Ruxin special. I was like, I was about to say, I'm not going to Ruxin special. And guess what happened? Ruxin special. But Thor. Ultimate rare. We pulled this in Ultra Rare the other day. Now we have the legend in Ulti. That pack wasn't scaled, that's for sure. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Thor. Ultimate rare. That is really, really cool. I don't know what it's worth, but it's awesome. So that's our first big pull of this video. The Ruxin Special is all you need to pull good stuff. That's all I'm saying. Ruxin Special everything. Okay, we still got a ton of packs left in this video. Judgment of the Light. Can we pull the Ghost Rare Star Eater? The question is... So yeah, that's the question. The answer is probably no. But maybe we will. We can also pull the Utopia Ray or Victory. Is that what it is? Brother of the Fire Fist Kieran. And the Elfan. All right. Okay, no Chicolates. Someone scaled these for Chicolates. Who scaled these for Chicolates? I'm very frustrated. <sighs> very frustrated. XC's reception. Here we go. Let's be careful not to rux it. The Manolche. Chicolate. Chick Chicolate. Chicolate. Chick Chicolate. What a legendary card. The best card you could possibly pull right there. Let's go ahead and put that in the pile of pulls. Star Seraph. Ooh, another ultimate rare. Rank up magic Numeron. I feel like I pulled this like three times. <laughs> that is so cool. We also never pulled a Star Eater ultimate rare. Just saying. Maybe we should uh, buy more Judgment Light. 
I'm thinking we should. Yeah, because then we can pull Chickalates, we can pull Star Eater, hopefully, maybe one day. Probably not, but maybe. Okay, so this is this opening really turned around. We had not pulled anything, now we've pulled two Ultimate Rares. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. Here we go. Here we go. Can we pull... I don't even know what's in Galactic Overlord. <laughs> I don't know, but there's a Ghost Rare in here. I do know that. Nitwit Outwit. Oh. Rexon Special. This card is pretty good in Duel Links, isn't it? Noble Knight. This is the one with the crazy text. Artorigus. Yeah, so I'm not going to read that because that's really long, but it is a super rare. So we will take that. That is nice. This is going to be somewhat of a long video. There's a lot of packs in here. I hope you guys are enjoying this, and uh, I am definitely enjoying it. I like opening these somewhat old packs. It's pretty fun. We got some 5Ds in here. We got some, you know, uh, Zexel. We've got even some originals. That's cool. Okay, no rocks and special. Here we go. Forbidden Graveyard. Bird of Roses, super rare. I've never seen this card. That is horrific. Look at that thing. That's like in a nightmare. That's so scary. It's a bird made out of plants. Yeah, that's like some Alice in Wonderland stuff. That is creepy. All right, Electromagnetic Shield. I'm I'm just weirded out by that. Very weird. Next, we have a first edition Shining Darkness. Can you imagine if there was a Ghost or a Black Moon tracking in one of these? How crazy that would be? That would be absolutely insane. We got the Memory Crush King. That guy's creepy too. But he looks pretty cool though. 2000 and zero. Oh, it's five star. Okay. Key Mouse. Quacky Miru initialize. And a Trust Guardian. Okay, we're pulling all kinds of foils. It seems like it's pretty common for the black, uh, the Shining Darkness to have that little left corner ding-ish thing. Not really a ding, but like extra cardboard on the top corners. That was in the in some of the other ones I pulled. Trust Guardian. It's on my Blackwing Dragon Ultra Rare that I pulled. Flame Resonator. Gen X Undyne. Man, there's a lot of cool cards in here. I think it's time for first edition Rise of Destiny. A lot of epic cards being pulled. Hopefully, we're going to pull something crazy here. Watch this be a hobby pack and have Creator in it, Ultimate Rare. I will cry, and <laughs> I don't know what will happen. Element Magician, we got a Tactical Espionage Expert. Harpy Lady 2. Creeping Doom Manta. And the Fusilor Dragon, the Dual Mode Beast. All right. All right, okay, that's fine, fine. Totally cool. Not what we're looking for, but okay. Enemy of Justice, first edition. This is GX. We're back in the GX era. Man, we have every era up to, like, Zexel. This is crazy. A lot of good stuff. Swift Birdman Joe, can we pull? Shining Phoenix Enforcer. No, we can't. D-Shield. I know, I've tried. Guard Dog. Oversoul. And the Harpy's Pet Dragon. That's pretty cool. That is a cool ultimate rare. That's a retail ultimate, too, so that's pretty good. Ooh, Force of the Breaker. And we have learned that there's some pretty cool cards in Force of the Breaker. Can we pull some of them? We have the Hard Selling Zombie. Gravity Crush Dragon, Wildfire, Last Resort, Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, okay, that's one of the good ones, okay, that is awesome, Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, let's go, that is pretty awesome, Ultra Rare, very nice, that's an awesome pull out of Force of the Breaker. So these started off like, wow, there's nothing in these packs. And then since then, it's been like, yeah, there's tons of stuff in these packs. Now we have Soul of the Duelist. Do you guys know what's in here? Horus the Black Flame Dragon, level 8. That would be pretty cool to pull that. Even in Ultra Rare Unlimited, that would be sick. Here we go. We got the Armed Dragon. Wow, these cards are like damage right out of the pack. Or this one is, at least. You guys see that? The corner is like messed up. We've got a Mind Wipe. Okay, cool. Mind Crush, back to back. All right. Dark Mimic level one is not a bad card for Go Dex. It can be like a crappy Dekoichi. And Horse of Black Flame Dragon, level four. So we got the rare, the Abyssal Designator. Okay, cool. I remember that one from Duel Links. Okay. Cyberdark Impact. Cyberdark Dragon. Pretty cool. Retail. If it's retail, we can get some pretty cool ultimate rares still in here. The uh, Vanity's Fiend, Vanity's Ruler, stuff like that. Barrier Statue of the Inferno. Some of these Barrier Statues are good. Chain Strike. Ooh, Cyber Shadow Gardener. Cool. It is very cool. Old Stormwinds is one of the best ones, so that's that's going in the pile. Very nice Cyber Shadow Gardener. Wow, still a lot of packs left, so this is, this is going strong. We have Force of the Breaker Unlimited again. Last time we pulled Sapphire Pegasus, so I'm not feeling too... Uh, too excited about, well, not excited, but, uh, confident in this one, because we already pulled something crazy. What is, what is, what? 
What? <laughs> Gravity Cuss Dragon. Look at that centering. Really good. Wildfire. Crystal Blessing. Harpy Queen. Oh, can you imagine that in Ultimate Rare? That would be insanity. Another Galactic Overlord pack. I think we pulled a Super last time. So we got some Ghost Potential here. Let's do this. Here we go. Commander of the Swords. Wattail Dragon. Nitwit Outwit. Insector Gauntlet. And Insector Crossbow. Oh, number 32 Shark Drake. That like did not feel like it was going to be something. Okay, that's really cool. These are definitely a European print packs. These uh, specific Galactic Overlord ones. Number 32 Shark Drake. That's really cool. I don't know if it's good, but it's definitely really cool. All right, my phone is starting to die. So I plugged it in. Hopefully we will be fine. But we have Return of the Duelist. We have the Chronomaly Pyramid, the Gagaga Rush, three of a kind, Charioteer of Prophecy, Heroic Challenger, and Light Ray Medour. All right, all right. The Return of the Duelist, the Redu. Next up, Galactic Overlord. Can we pull something epic? I don't know what, I don't really know what is in here. We've opened two packs so far and we've done two for two, I think. Pretty good. Oh, upside down? Okay, maybe, what? What is going on? Wattail Dragon. All right. Cool. Cool. I'm very confused, but cool. All right. Another Return of the Duelist pack. We have first edition. Can we pull... I know there's some good cards, but I can't remember what they are. We've pulled the Ghost Rare twice from this set, actually, already. So that's pretty crazy. Penetrable Attack for Glad Beast. Pretty nice. We've got the Echo, Mysterious Spirit of the Forest, and the Gyrgya Armor. Super rare. Gyrgyz. Very nice. It's the Armor Man. He's got that shield on both arms. All right, just like five packs left now, another Return of the Duelist. Can we pull something insane? We have a turnabout. Photon Caesar, Ninjutsu Art of Shadow Stealing, Uniflora, Chronomaly Crystal Bones, and Three of a Kind. Okay, I remember using this in a Duel Links duel one time, and it actually really worked. All right, Absolute Power Force. Let's pull the Majestic Red Dragon Ghost, please. That'd be so cool. Sup A, Panda Bork. Forgotten Civil of the Deep, Black Potent, and Ascending Soul. All right, Destruct destruct Potion. We have three packs left. We have the Invasion of Chaos, and we have two First Edition Shining Darkness. Let's go with the Shining Darkness. Let's pull Blackwing Dragon. That would be so crazy. Yeah, it's not going to happen, but uh, maybe it will happen. Who knows? <laughs> Lena the Light Charmer, Dragon Laser, Morphtronic, Vacuum, the Man of the Vacuum, Genetic Searcher, and Assault Spirits. All right. Two packs left, guys. Like button for luck. We've actually had pretty good luck on this opening. So we started off pretty slow, but we finished it pretty strong. Okay, these are not... Uh, there we go. There we go. It was fighting me for a second. Infernity Break. We got the Watt Cube. Watt Fox. Black Wing Strafe. And the Ally of Justice Core Destroyer. Morphtronic Vacuum. Man of the Vacuum. All right, Ronin Totem. Nice. And finally, we have an original Invasion of Chaos Booster Pack. Let's see what we can pull here. This is pretty awesome. And by the way, it, you can tell it's not a reprint because of this logo. The original, original, like the LOB and stuff like that had a different logo, but in 2003 it changed to this red banner logo. So that's how you know that this one is not from 2017 when they reprinted everything in Legendary Collection. They also did that in 2010 and 2013 as well. So all those years. Here we go. Oh, this, these are actually not the very first ones. These are I-O-C-E-N. So these are like the second, I think. But let's see what we can get here. Molten Zombie. Soul Tiger. Manju, that's nice. Primal Seed and whew, Chaos and Rear Dragon. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool. Right, Koki. Imagine if that was uh, BLS. The one time we pull it was out of a random pack. That would be crazy. Let's go over what we got. I'm There's so much stuff. I'm just going to flip through it. But uh, we got a ton of decent stuff. The commons I just put in there without sleeving a lot of them. But wow, a lot of different foils. A lot. We got some ultimate rares, which is great. Um, some pretty cool stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like the video. Subscribe for epic content coming up in the future. We're pushing toward that 100K, guys. So we're not really that close. So if you guys hit subscribe, maybe we'll get closer. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, boom! Oh. <laughs>